Welcome to class. Sage Bergner here. We are going to be working on snatches today. So we're going to be starting off with the Bergner warm up, the warm up that we all know and love to prep and prime our body for the snatch. Then we're going to be doing a snatch primer, transitioning into some skilled transfer exercises for the snatch. And then we'll move into exercise number four of a little snatch complex. And then we're gonna end the day with working up to a moderately heavy single snatch for the day. So we got five exercises that we have to go through today. I have Clara and Jason behind me, so let's get them to work. Let's go ahead and start with the Bergner warm up. okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and pick up your barbells. And stand with your feet right underneath your hips for me. Beautiful, and you have your snatch grip, awesome. And you're gonna stand there nice and good posture. You have your hook grip, of course, thumb wrapped around the bar, fingers wrapped around the thumb. Good, Clara, move your hands out just a tiny bit for me. Good, and then nice good posture as you're standing there, beautiful. So the first movement of the Bergner warm-up is a jump and a shrug, working on good speed through the middle. I want nice posture at the top of your jump and make sure on your dip, you're staying nice and vertical through that dip and drive. We're gonna do three repetitions here on my command of down and finish, okay? Eyes always straight ahead for me. Beautiful, stand by and down and finish. Good. So both of you need to leave the ground. We're practicing jumping with a barbell in your hand, okay? So it doesn't have to be a high jump, just a nice low jump to the ground, but I wanna actually see you leave the ground. That lets me know you're jumping hard against the ground. Stand by, down and finish. Better, good. And down and finish. Beautiful, one more and down and finish. Good, Clara, careful not to dip forward on that dip, okay? Next, we have elbows high and outside. This is gonna help to keep that bar really close to our body. The farther away that bar gets from us, the less control we have over it. So really keep it close to your body as you're performing this. Remember, each move leads into the next, okay? So don't bend your arms before you have finished that down and finish. So it's gonna be a down and finish, elbows high and outside. Stand by, and down and finish. Good, leave the ground again. Stand by, down and finish. Good, good posture here. Stand by, down and finish. Beautiful, very nice. All right, so now we're moving into our muscle snatch. The muscle snatch is amazing for practicing that strong turnover punch, making sure that we finish that down and finish, elbows high and outside before we allow ourselves to go into that turnover. So make sure we are not re-bending the knees here. We're driving it up, finish starting with the legs and then finishing with the arms. Stand by. And down and finish. And down. Make sure that we're really aggressive here. I want that bar to whip overhead. I don't want it to be this slow and controlled motion. Stand by and down and finish. And down, beautiful. Keep hold of those bars overhead. Okay, we don't want to open up those hands. Okay, make sure you have a nice grip on that barbell. Stand by and down and finish. Beautiful, keep those barbells overhead for me. Really reach up nice and strong, bend those barbells. We're now gonna be doing snatch power land. So keep those barbells overhead. So now we're gonna go ahead, keeping them overhead, you're going to land in a two inch squat. You're gonna reset your feet. You're gonna land a little bit deeper. Stand, reset your feet, and then we'll land at parallel. Okay, stand by, snatch power lands. Ready, and land, and stand, reset. I want loud feet, you guys. Don't jump high, jump hard, but I wanna hear those feet hit the ground. Going to four inches now. Stand by, and land, stand. Good, making sure that our footwork is consistent every single time we hit the ground. Reset those feet, we're going to parallel now. Stand by, land, stand, beautiful. 
Now keep them overhead and we're gonna do three snatch drops all the way down into your full overhead squat. Same aggressive footwork here. Stand by and go. Chest up and stand. Sit as far down as you guys can in these overhead squats. Stand by and go. Chest up, sit, sit, sit. Yes, and stand. Good, one more you guys, stay in it. Stand by and go. And stand. And go ahead and put it down. Shake it out for a second. That's just a really good warm up, you guys, to get your body moving, get the blood flowing. Now your body is a little bit more prepared to go into our next progression. So the next thing we're gonna be doing, you can set your PVC pipes away, light barbells away, and you're gonna be moving on to your normal barbell. The next progression we're gonna be doing is three high hang muscle snatches, which we actually just did in this burner warm up. Really focusing on that nice aggressive turnover. We'll do three repetitions plus three snatch drops. Okay, so on that third muscle snatch, you're gonna bring the barbell down onto your back. Your feet are gonna be set up right underneath your hips. And you guys are going to aggressively punch your bodies down into your overhead squat without getting any dip and drive on that barbell. So you're literally free falling, but not really. You're punching your bodies down into a deep, deep overhead squat. Okay, so we're doing three high hang muscle snatch plus three snatch drops. All right, so go ahead. You can set that barbell off to the side, Clara. Put your hands in your same snatch grip. Hook grip, bar right here at this high hang position. All right, stand by, we're doing three high hang muscle snatches. And go! And reset. Remember guys, you're gonna maybe wanna re-bend on that muscle snatch. Please be careful not to do that. We're dipping, driving, punching, and you're keeping your legs nice and locked out. Stand by. And go. Better. Reset. And go. And bar on back. Okay, you're gonna have to really commit here, guys. Punch down aggressively into your overhead squat. Stay down there. And go. And <laughs> stand. Don't forget to punch that barbell overhead, guys. <laughs> no, that's okay. You're still a good person, Clara. Stand by and punch. Stand, keep those chests up. Be really strong in that bottom position. Reset and punch. And stand. You might be like Clara and want to dip a little bit to get that barbell moving. Just get a punch, no dipping and driving. You guys can set the barbells down. Shake it out for a second. If you wanna add a little bit of weight, you can. If you wanna stay with the empty barbell, that's fine too. Um, this is not meant to be for low. This is meant to be for speed and precision on these movements. So stay with just the bar, okay? Beautiful. All right, go ahead, get into your snatch grip. Great. Three high hang muscle snatches. Stand by and go. Reset. Make sure those elbows come high and outside. You guys, we wanna keep that bar as close to our body as possible before we punch. Stand by and go. Reset. And go. And bars on back. We're gonna punch aggressively down into our overhead squats and punch. Stand. How fast can you be down into your squat? That's what I'm looking for. Stand by. Punch. Stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Stand. Show me those armpits. Crease of the elbow to the ceiling when you receive it. Stand by 
and punch. Chest up. And stand. And put it down, shake it out. Good. Okay, we have one more set of that. Again, if you wanna go up a weight a tiny bit, you can. If not, repeat the load here. So I wanna make sure that you guys are nice and intentional down in your receiving position, okay? A lot of times people think of their overhead squat position as a resting place. Nothing about your overhead squat should feel comfortable. You should feel like you are fighting for your positioning with your torso. You're fighting to stabilize that barbell overhead so that it's not falling forward or moving backwards. It's locked in that slot where your body is supporting that load overhead, not your shoulders. So on this set, I want you guys to focus on being fast into your overhead squat and then super strong and stable in your overhead squat position. Okay, last set, best set. Go ahead, pick up the barbells. Okay, three high hang muscle snatches. Stand by and go. And reset, beautiful, we're keeping it close. We're having fast, vicious arms overhead. Stand by and go. Yes, reset. It's all about being aggressive and go. Good, bars on back. We're fast, we're strong, we're stable. Down in that bottom position. Stand by, punch. Stand, so much better. Again, ready, go. Stand. One more time, let me hear your feet. Ready, go. And stand and go ahead and put it down. Beautiful, so that is the end of our snatch primer. Okay, so we have that bar pass squared away. We have that turnover squared away. Let's go ahead and move over to the rack and get our overhead squat nice and strong and stable before we move into our snatch. All right guys, so now we're gonna be doing one of my favorite skill transfer complexes with a snatch push press, plus a pause overhead squat, plus a snatch balance. So we're working overhead strength with our snatch push press, we're working core stability with our overhead squat, and then we're working timing of our hands and our feet hitting at the same time on that snatch balance. Okay, so we're gonna be doing three snatch push press overhead squat, Sorry, three snatch push press, two pause overhead squats, and then one snatch balance. So three, two, one. Okay, stand by, get your snatch grips. Come underneath the barbells. Set up with your feet right underneath your hips here for that snatch push press. Take a nice deep breath in through your belly and brace, and down and up. Punch, reset. Remember, there's no re-bending of our knees here. Stand by, down and up. Reset, your hands should be in your snatch grip. Stand by, down and up. Keep those bars overhead. Move your feet out into your landing squatting position. Breathe, embrace, and squat. Hold, keep those torsos up and stand. Make sure your stance is not too narrow, guys. Open up those feet, make sure it's in your squatting position. Stand by, and squat. Sit, sit, sit. Stand. And bring the bars on your back. Find that strong point overhead when you dip and drive and punch into your overhead squat position. Stand by, and down and up and stand and reset. So remember the snatch balance, go ahead and re-rack it for me. The snatch balance is a jump and then a punch into your overhead squat. So I should see foot movement, right? I should hear foot movement. I don't wanna see those feet start and stop in the same position. So we can go ahead and add a little bit of weight here, you guys. Uh, if it doesn't feel great, you can stay with just the barbell, but we do wanna slowly build and weight a little bit here for this complex. 
I also want you guys to be careful to not be too wide with your hand positioning here. A lot of times with snatch grip or snatch related movements, people like a wider grip because it feels more comfortable overhead. Remember, we're not searching for comfort. We're searching for stability and efficiency. So make sure your hands are not too wide on that barbell. I personally go about middle finger on that ring on the barbell, okay? Go ahead, establish your snatch grip. Okay, three snatch push press. Breathe and brace, down and up. Reset. You don't have to have a hook grip for this. Stand by, down and up. Reset. Move your hands in just a tiny bit, Clara. Remember guys, not too wide of grips here. Stand by, down and up. Two pause over at squats. And squat. Up. Good, find that stability. Squat. Chest up. Stand. Bar on back. Hands lock out, arms lock out at the same time the feet hit with this snatch balance. Stand by, down and up. And stand and reset. Beautiful. Go ahead, add a little bit of weight if you want. If that set was not what you wanted to be, go ahead and stay at that same loading. Now, on your snatch balance, I want you guys to feel like you're jumping the barbell up, elevating the bar, and then you're putting your body where you want it to go with the punch. So I don't want to see this jumping, dropping, and then catching of that barbell overhead. I want to see jumping the bar up and then using the resistance of the bar to put you into a solid overhead squat position. Okay, so there's a really big difference between this and this. Boom! And you punch into your overhead squat very intentionally. So that's what I want the focus to be on on this next set. Okay, go ahead athletes, stand by. Move your hands in just a tiny bit. Three snatch push press. Ready, down and up. Reset. And down and up. Reset, use your legs. Down and up. Beautiful, move your feet out to your squat stance. And squat. Stand, beautiful. Again, and squat. Stand. Bar on back. All right, let's see it. Punch into that receiving position after you jump. Stand by and go. Fight, fight, fight. And stand. And rack. And go ahead, barbells back. Beautiful. Now we have a little bit of practice and time down in our overhead squat position. We feel a little bit more warmed up and stable there. Let's make our way back onto the floor for our snatch complex. All right, guys, so now we have a complex where we're gonna work on positioning, getting that barbell into the right position, practicing our jump from that position, and then bringing it all together with the snatch. So we're gonna do two repetitions of lift off to mid thigh with a brief pause plus a jump and shrug. Deadlift to mid thigh with a brief pause, plus a jump and shrug, put it down, and then perform a full snatch, trying to bring it all together with that full movement. Okay, so two plus one. Go ahead and get set up with your barbells in your start position. Nice and balanced here on your feet, not sitting back, not sitting forward. Shift forward just a little bit. Nope, shift forward. There you go. All right, deadlift up to mid thigh. Balance, stay over the bar, load it on your hamstrings, and jump and shrug. Good, leave the ground when you do this. I wanna see your feet leave the ground. Start position, full foot on the ground, and 
on, deadlift to mid thigh. Jump. Beautiful, put it down. Get start, started in your start position. Find that balance, don't sit back. And snatch. And stand and bring it down. Go ahead and increase the weight a little bit here if you desire. So on that snatch, I want you to feel the same timing that you just felt on your snatch balances in the skill transfer exercises. You're up and then you're down. You're not hanging out too much at the top and you're not rushing into the down. You're nice and fluid here. Weightlifting is all about timing and fluidity. It's about knowing when to turn it on. It's about being patient. So when you are feeling your lift or when someone's watching you do your lift, are you explosive and are you graceful in that explosiveness? That, those are the two keys, being explosive, being graceful. All right, let's get set for set two. Get into your start positions. Be ready to lift heavy weight off the ground. Stand by, mid thigh. Stay over, jump, and down. Stand by, stay over to mid thigh. Don't sit back, jump. Good, get set. Bring it all together now. Weight to mid thigh, be fluid, and snatch. And stand, and reset. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. So when you're being patient to get to mid thigh, you don't have to rush that portion. But then when you hit that mid thigh position, it is time to turn it on. It is time to be aggressive and explosive. And I wanna see a change of speed and a change of tenacity when it's time to snatch. I don't want it to be just this really methodical, robotic movement. I wanna see you guys get after it a little bit when it's time to do that actual snatch. Let me see a change of speed on the barbell. I, wanna I want you guys to feel it be weightless. I wanna see it whip overhead. That is what I am looking for as a coach. All right, set three. Stand by in your start positions. Shift forward and mid thigh. Jump. Better, again, start positions. Feel balanced here. Deadlift to mid thigh. Jump. Yes, reset. Okay, let's see what you're made of here. Ready, and snatch. And stand, that was better, Jason. And down. Great. Okay, so we kind of segmented that lift a little bit. We did our drilling, we broke down the movements. Now it's time to snatch. Okay, we're just gonna bring everything together and you guys can start to increase weight. We're gonna do four singles in the snatch and we're gonna build. You're either gonna build a little bit on each single or you can stay at the same weight and you're gonna try to make every four repetition look exactly the same. Okay, get ready. We'll take about 30 seconds rest or so in between our sets here. When you are lifting this barbell off of the ground, I want you to feel like you're moving the bar, not like the bar is moving you out of position. So be a strong structure, get your breath in, get your bracing in, and move that barbell with purpose right off of the ground. Stand by. And start positions. Shift forward a little bit, there. And snatch. 
and stand and put it down. Beautiful. Go ahead, either add weight or repeat. So for me, I'm trying to have the fastest part of the lift be the turnover. Okay, so I'm building off of the ground. I'm creating speed when I jump and then I'm using all of that speed and momentum that I've generated on the bar to whip me down into my overhead squat position. Okay, so generate good stability off the ground, generate power through your jump, and then use that generation of power to put yourselves down in a solid overhead squat position. Okay, rep two, stand by. And snatch. And stand, so much better. And down. Beautiful. Now remember, when we did these skill transfer exercises of those pause overhead squats and those snatch balances, remember how upright your torso was and how hard you were fighting for that receiving position. You have to be ready to receive the bar down in your overhead squat when you're snatching. You cannot get ready after you get there. Be ready to receive the bar by your chest being super vertical and reaching on that bar as soon as it gets overhead. Don't be lazy and let your chest and torso come forward at all when you receive it. Okay, repetition number three. This is where we have got to start being aggressive, you guys. Stand by and snatch. Tight. Stand and down. Beautiful. Okay, for our last repetition here, what I want you guys to focus on, you've generated speed with that vicious jump. Okay, you're ready for that barbell in that receiving position. Now let's do something in between those two points, in between the jump and in between the receive. And that is cranking those elbows high and outside. Okay, so I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna crank my elbows high and outside, knuckles down, nice proud chest. That motion is going to whip me into my overhead squat and it's going to allow me to stay nice and upright in my receiving position. So in short, I want jump, pull, punch. Jump, pull, punch into your receiving position. Last snatch of the day, get after it. Stand by and snatch. Stand, Jason, that was beautiful. Clara, beautiful, and down. Awesome, awesome job, awesome job, you guys. I love this structure for a workout. We did our Bergner warm up to kind of reinforce the segmented movements of a snatch. We did our snatch primer to make sure that we're feeling snappy in our turnover and then really fast underneath that barbell with the snatch drop. Then we got really confident and comfortable in that overhead squat position and with the timing of the jumping up and the punching down on the snatch balance. When we transitioned back to the floor, we worked on staying patient to that mid-thigh position, staying balanced in that mid-thigh position and then practicing that generating of force with our jump. Then we got to bring everything together with the snatch. You can't just come in, walk in off the street cold and expect your body to know how to snatch. We have to build our way up there and we have to prep and prime our body to be lifting this heavy weight. If you do your due diligence with the drilling and the practice of those skills, then you can have confidence performing these very technical, complicated movements. Thank you guys so much for your time. You're awesome. We love you at Mayhem Bergner Strength. If you ever have any questions, please reach out. I'd love to help however I can.